Now, the next thing we're going to look at is something called a cyclic quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is defined as being cyclic when its four vertices lie on a circle. Well, now what does that mean? Well, first of all, vertices are just the ends here. So each of these four vertices. Now, if they lie or end on a circle, and it's all in that same circle, then the shape inside is called a cyclic quadrilateral. Quadrilateral four, four, four sides, cyclic because it's inside a circle. Now, once we've determined that something is a cyclic quadrilateral, then we know it has certain properties. And these are the properties down here. That the opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. They're not necessarily equal, but they add up to 180 degrees. So angle A and angle C are opposite to each other. D and B are opposite to each other, and they add up to 180 degrees. So that's one of the properties of a cyclic quadrilateral. So let's use that theory in this type of question. So we're asked to determine what is angle D. So we're trying to find this angle right here. Now, again, if you've reached this far in geometry, you've found that the questions are probably not that difficult in terms of mathematics, simple adding and subtracting. It's seeing things, seeing things properly. So when we have a question like this, let's write all over it and write what we know. So right away, we know that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. AB is equal to CD. So we know that this angle down here has to be 70 degrees. So that we know. So we know this is 70. So I'm just going to label it as 70 degrees. Now, if we know that that's 70 degrees, and we know that uh, the other angle is 70 degrees, then we know this angle down here, angle B, must sum to 180. So 70, 70 is 140. So this has to be 40 degrees. <clears throat> now, if that's 40 degrees, now what we have to do is see that we have a cyclic quadrilateral inside this circle. A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if we know what B is, 40 degrees, we know that this angle over here, angle D, which is what we're trying to determine, has to, when we add it to 40, equal 180 degrees. So again, it's pretty simple, but we can just say that 40 degrees plus angle D must equal 180 degrees. That's the property of a cyclic quadrilateral. So that tells us that angle D must equal 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, which of course is just 140 degrees. So fairly straightforward once we recognize that something is a cyclic quadrilateral. 